part 13, Solve Inequalities. You will find this on page 119 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Solve Inequalities. We follow the same procedure used for solving linear equations, except that when we multiply or divide by a negative number, the inequality is reversed. Why? The statement 2 is less than 6 can be written 2 is less than 6. Manipulate this statement by adding 2 to each side. So I add 2. The statement is still true. This inequality is still true after adding 2. Subtract 2 from each side. Subtract 2, subtract 2. So 0 is smaller than 4. It's still true. This inequality is still true after subtracting 2. Multiply both sides by 2. Multiply 2, multiply 2. So this inequality, so it's 4 is smaller than 12. It's still true. This inequality is still true after multiplying by 2. Divide both sides by 2. Divide 2, divide 2. So 1 is smaller than 3. It's still true. This inequality is still true after dividing by 2. Multiply both sides by negative 2. So if I multiply negative 2, I'll get negative 4 and negative 12. Now negative 4 is smaller than negative 12. That's false. Okay. So I have to swap the inequality sign to make it true. The inequality is not true after multiplying by negative 2. Reverse the inequality sign to make it true. Okay, so I reversed it. Divide both sides by negative 2. Divide negative 2, divide negative 2. So negative 1 is smaller than negative 3. That's false. But if I swap the inequality sign, I make it true. So this inequality is not true after dividing by negative 2. So reverse the inequality sign to make it true. So what did you notice? When both sides of an inequality are either multiply or divide by a negative number, the inequality is no longer true. For it to be true, the inequality sign needs to be reversed. Okay, let's look at an example. Solve the inequality and show that the results on a number line. Okay, just like an equation, I must get rid of that negative 4 by adding 4 on both sides. Okay, then I get 12. Then I divide 3, divide 3, and I get x is smaller than 4. Just like that. Just like an equation. But if I do this one, okay, so this one I will, to get its positive 8x, to get it to this side, I subtract 8x on both sides. This is negative 10. To get it to this side, I add positive 10 on both sides. Then I'm ending up with this. Now I divide by a negative 3. Divide by a negative 3. And remember what I said. As soon as you divide by a negative number, you have to swap the inequality sign from that to that. And that will be the statement. So x is smaller than equal to negative 3. Okay. I want you to do try now 21, number 1a as well as C, and number 2, A, as well as number C. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. Try now. 21. Okay, solve the following inequalities and illustrate your solution on a number line. Okay, let's, so let's start with A. I'm going to put a grid again for us to help with the number lines. Okay, so the first one will be 5 plus Y is smaller than 6. So just like an equation, like, like, like. So to get rid of this is positive, so I subtract 5 on both sides. So I will have, this will cancel, and I will have Y is bigger than 6 minus 5. So Y is bigger than than 1. And if I'm going to illustrate it on the number line, let's just make a number line. So on my number line, uh, say this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5. So y is bigger than 1, so it's not an equal sign, so it's open, and bigger than 1, so it's to this side. 
that we will draw the line. And that's the solution. Okay. If I look at number C, so let's just do number C. So 5 and then X plus 3. Now, if I leave it like this, if I leave the X on this side, I can take it over. Um, I'm going to show you both. So leave it on that side. So to get, I just subtract 3 on both sides. So this will cancel. So what will I have? 5 minus 3. Okay, so X is smaller. 5 minus 3 is 2. You can either do it like this, but then you are reading it from this side. Or I'm going to show you another method. So you can say 5. Now, say for example, you, this is positive X. If you want to take it to the other side, you will subtract X on both sides. Okay, so there's the 3, subtract 5 on both sides. So negative X, negative 2. Now, as soon as you divide it, actually already there. Okay, let's just, um, I'm just going to get a small rubber. Okay, so as soon as I divide by a negative, I have to swap the sign. Okay, so from this to this. So X is smaller than 2. Can you see? X is smaller than 2. X is smaller than 2. doesn't matter. It's, it's meaning the same. So let's just draw it on the number line. So if, if I'm going to just do mark that. So it can be, let's call it negative 1, uh, 0, 1, 2. Ooh, let's just get my pen correct. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so x is smaller than two, so it's open and it's smaller, so it's going to this side. And there is my solution. Okay, x is smaller than two. Okay, let's let's just make space for number number two. Let's just make the rubber bigger. Okay, number 2a, so 4 minus x, 6 minus 2x. Okay, let's just solve this one. If we do it exactly the same way, so I, if I want to get rid of this, I'll add 2x, add 2x to both sides. So basically, um, I'm going to um, do the same here. This is positive, so subtract 4 and subtract 4 on both sides. So it's going to give me an answer, that cancel, of negative x plus 2x, and that's 6 minus 4. So this is going to be x is bigger, 6 minus 4, that's going to be 2. So x is bigger than 2. I didn't divide by a negative. So on a number line, there's my number line. Okay, let's just mark our point. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So x is bigger than 2, so it's not, it's not equal. So that's why I'm leaving it like this. And it's just to this side. That's my solution. Okay, and let's, let's just do the last one. Okay, I wish I could have... Okay. Um, I'm going to include, you can stop the video and first do it, but I'm in going to include B. You can first do it and then continue with the video, but I want to just put it as part of my solutions. Okay, so this is negative 4x plus 1 is smaller than 3. Okay, so what will I do on both sides? I subtract 1 and I subtract 1. So this is going to be negative 4x, and this is going to be 3 minus 1. Now, the reason why I was giving you this one is because now you're going to divide by a negative. And as soon as you actually, let's just clean this, as soon as you divide by the negative, then you have to swap the sign. So from this to this, so x is bigger than a half. Okay negative a half because this is a negative so if i draw my number line okay let's just get our number line 
So if I do this one, so let's just see, this is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So x is bigger than negative half. Now remember this negative half. So x is bigger than negative half. So it will be to this side. And there will be your solution. Okay, and then the last one, number C. Oh, let's just get a pen. So x over 2 is smaller than 1. So in order to, to get rid of this 2, I will multiply 2 on both sides. So then, then I don't have a fraction. So I will have 2x is smaller than 1 times 2. It will be 2. Okay. So let's just make sure that it's correct. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's just correct that. So if, as soon as I multiply 2, I get 2 over 2, which the 2s will cancel out. So x is smaller than 2. Okay? And if I draw this on the numbers, it's correct that you multiply 2 on both sides. I just want to show you that it cancel out. Okay? And then you have x is smaller than 2. And if you draw that on a number line, okay? Oh, let's just get it correct. Okay, uh, so let's just make this negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So x is smaller than 2. Okay, so there is 2. Okay, and smaller, it's still not the equal sign. So it will just be a line to this side. And that will be the solutions of the inequalities.